What's better than designing something awesome? Sharing that design with others. The Figma community is a space where creators can publish free and paid resources and connect with people from all over the world. Thousands of new resources are published to the community every day. If you're a new creator, we know that sharing your work publicly can sometimes be a little daunting. In this video, we'll walk through how to publish your first community resource and cover some best practice recommendations to help ensure your hard work gets noticed. Let's jump in. In order to publish community resources, you'll first need to create a community profile. Your community profile is where all of your published resources will display. You can customize how your profile looks by adding a profile picture and cover art, as well as a short bio and links to your website or social media profiles. To create your profile, open the file browser and navigate to your account settings. Click on the Community tab and press Claim Your Handle. You can include up to 15 alphanumeric characters and underscores in your handle. Other community members can search for your profile using your handle, so it's a good idea to make it something that's easy to read and remember. If the handle you entered is not available, you'll be prompted to choose another. Once you've got your desired handle, click Create Profile. Now that you have a profile, you're all set to start publishing. The process is a bit different depending on which type of resource you're publishing. For this video, we're going to walk through how to publish a file. For information on how to publish other resource types like plugins or widgets, check out the Help Center articles linked in the description. Keep in mind that a file's location and your seed type and permissions will determine if you can publish to the community. If you're on the starter, education, or professional plans, you can publish any file that you have can edit access to. If you're on the organization or enterprise plans, publishing is restricted to admins only. For more information on who can publish to the community, see our Comprehensive Help Center article linked in the description. All content published to the community must follow Figma's community guidelines. The guidelines are linked in the video description as well, and we recommend giving them a quick read through before publishing. Now, let's get back to our file. We created this nifty tooltip component set that we think other designers will love. However, before we publish this file, we should really design a thumbnail to help it stand out from other resources on Community. Community thumbnails should be 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you're creating your thumbnail in Figma, you can use the Community File Cover Frame preset to automatically add a frame of the correct size to the canvas. Good thumbnails are simple, but eye-catching. If a thumbnail is too busy or too sparse, users might scroll right past it. It's a good idea to include both text and visual elements, but make sure they complement each other. This first thumbnail attempt is okay, but with a few small improvements, we can make it something really special. First, let's simplify the text and bump up the font size a bit so that it's easier to scan at a glance. We can also customize the text in the tooltips and rotate them to give the thumbnail a hint of playfulness. Finally, we can add a basic pattern to the background for some visual interest. There, with just a few quick changes, the thumbnail is looking a lot better. If you'd like to learn how to build this thumbnail for yourself, check out our hands-on project linked in the description. When you're happy with your design, right-click on the frame and select Set as Thumbnail. In addition to your thumbnail, you can also include up to 10 image previews when you publish a file. These images will be added to an image carousel on the file's community page and can be used to help prospective users learn more about your resource. The recommended size for image previews is also 1920 by 1080, so feel free to use the same frame preset you used for your thumbnail. Now we're ready to kick off the publishing process. To publish a file, click Share at the top of the page and then click Publish to Community. Click Publish to open the publishing modal. This is where we'll configure how the resource will look on Community. You'll notice that the thumbnail has already been set. If you created any image previews, you can upload them here as well. Your file's title and description are crucial for helping people understand what your resource is all about. When writing your title, think about what your target audience is searching for on Community. Including relevant keywords is great, but keep your title short and concise. Resource descriptions should set users up for success. Use the description to explain how your resource will help users achieve their goals. Be sure to include any setup or usage instructions, and make sure your description is formatted in a way so that users can quickly scan and find what they need. You can use the text editor to add headings, bullets, and other text formatting. Avoid including shortened links in the description, 
as they will be automatically flagged and rejected by our content moderation team. If you really want to blow users' minds, consider including a changelog in your description. Changelogs help signal to current and potential users that you listen to feedback and actively maintain your resource. It's a great way to build a relationship with your users and keep them informed of changes to your resource. In addition to the title and description, you'll also want to tag and categorize your resource. Choosing the most accurate category and tags will increase the likelihood of people discovering your resource. If you're not sure what category your resource belongs in, consider browsing through the categories on Community to get a feel of where other resources have been added. This exercise can also help you figure out which tags to add to your resource. Your tag should complement the resource's category. Don't waste tags repeating the category or subcategory you chose. Use them instead to identify specific use cases, design styles, themes, or other niches. Continuing down the publishing modal, you'll notice that there is a support contact field. Providing support is a big part of creating a great user experience. You'll need to provide an email address, website, or help center link when you publish your resource. If you receive questions from users, be sure to respond promptly. As people find and use your resource, they may start to leave comments. You'll receive notifications when new comments are added to your published resources. Take time to respond to comments and answer questions. Your replies will be visible to other community members, and taking an active role in continuing the conversation will show potential users that they can trust you to provide support when they run into issues. Sharing your work publicly is a huge milestone for any creator. We hope these tips help you put your best work forward as you start contributing to the Figma community. Remember that consistently publishing high-quality content and engaging with your users is the best way to grow your audience. Congratulations on becoming a community creator. We can't wait to see what you publish.